Hello everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today here on this session about Know Your Universe with Sarth. So, about today's session. It is an initiation initiative by Learning Fund which is uh, handled by the small kid. He is trying to uh, spread knowledge and he's trying to learn new things and always try to share that information with people like uh, us and around you like all the kids on of his age he's just 8 years old and he knows so much about space and science so i am really excited about this session and i again really want to thanks everyone for joining us and uh, let me tell you about a little bit about uh, our today's session so how it's going to be it would be more of a question answer round i'll be trying to ask some very interesting questions to sarth I have spent a lot of time researching on that. I I have so many questions in my mind sir today and I took help from one of the smartest one of my smartest friends on this planet. Guess who? Google. <laughs> I had to because I am not that smart. So I had to take a little bit help from Google and all the other sources and research to come up with a lot of interesting questions and I hope you will have fun too uh, while answering those. and we'll keep the question answer open for you guys as well so if you are if you are aware of any of those answers and if you want to if you want to learn more about those questions or answers please post in the comment section uh, share the share the knowledge with others as well so it will be very fun learning together finally let me introduce to our star sarth so he is just 8 year old kid and you know is a third grade and he likes learning about new things he likes learning about space reading books and uh, sharing those knowledge with you everyone so i am really excited about this session sat are you of course of <laughs> course <laughs> and before we start before we start the most important thing this session would be recorded in hindi and english both so i will try my best to keep the conversation in english and hindi because we have a lot of people from india joining us today for you sat so they want to learn you and i want to make sure they are covered so guys don't worry we got you and we'll be asking some questions in hindi as well and you will be try to answer in hindi okay perfect so are we ready to begin do you want to add something sat so i'm very thankful for whoever joined me today uh um I hope you learn something new and don't worry cuz you won't get bored Awesome. So, starting with our round one about stars. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Are you excited? First of all, they're not little. They're huge. Oh, is it? I was, I was thinking we are talking about the movie stars. Oh <laughs> no, <laughs> we are movie. talking about the, the big ones. The big ones, right? Which I call little for some weird reason. Oh man. <laughs> But 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 again, stars good. is a very interesting concept, right? Yeah. So, I really don't know much about stars, and I really tried a lot to learn about it in recently. So I want to know more from you, and maybe I want to make sure I am doing it right. I am doing the right research, and uh, just to uh, make sure everybody is on same page, uh, I'll be trying to uh, Google some answers while he while he answer those. So just to make sure he is uh, right, just to you know verify the facts and everything. So if you know any answers that maybe. uh we are not uh, very sure about or we are not correct about please write in the comments and we'll we'll try to come up with the answer with that and looking forward to it cool so the first question is what really a star is <laughs> i i am like it's for me it's just a twinkling thing in the sky but what exactly it is so a star is any object in space which can create its own energy like Uh, my finger cannot create its own energy so it is not a star but let's take our sun it can create its own energy from nuclear fusion which i'm going to explain later to star woh hi hota hai jo energy khud ke khud bana sakta hai jaise mera finger khud ki energy nahi bana sakta hai to woh star nahi hai पर अपनी अपना सन बना सकता है खुद का एनर्जी मतलब वो स्टार है ओ सो आर यू सीइंग दैट्स द मेजर डिफरेंस बिटवीन ऑल द अदर ऑब्जेक्ट्स लाइक ऑल द सेलेस्टियल बॉडीज मीटियर्स एस्टेरॉइड्स प्लैनेट्स एंड स्टार्स सो इज दैट द मेन डिफरेंस यस लाइक अर्थ इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम अ स्टार फर्स्ट बिकॉज़ इट्स 
a star that's much bigger. Mm-hmm. And second, it can produce its own energy. Um, our Earth cannot produce its own energy. Oh, can you explain it in Hindi for our Indian audience? So, um, Sun and uh, the other planets are in a major difference. Sun can make energy by itself, but asteroids, rocks, Earth, or then planets, they can't make energy by itself. So, that is a major difference. Hota hai. Okay, I see. Interesting. So, my next question is around, I mean, what really is the difference between this? Like, nebula, asteroid, meteoroid, meteors, is there any specific difference between them? So the nebula, first the nebula, nebula is where like stars forms. Mm. Basically, there's this big star, very big star, mm-hmm. it explodes. Okay. Dust and gas, that dust and gas forms solar systems or at least a star. Okay. A nebula is one a lot, a lot of this dust and gas. So it can form many, many, many stars. What is nebula? One thing is that dust and gas is a lot of solar systems and um, stars or planets. I see. And do you know about comets? I am really interested about it because I have heard a lot, but I never so understood. Com- I see bodies, d- dust and rock, mm-hmm. and they come from the Kyber Belt. That means like the most outer part of the solar system. Oh. So beyond the orbit of Pluto, which we'll be talking about later. Can somebody wear that belt? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hmm, the sure. asteroid belt or the Kyber Belt? Maybe like for the kids, the asteroid belt. It's, it's a small one. Okay. <laughs> so basically these icy bodies are found in the Kyber belt and they come and they go towards the earth they kind of orbit the earth and go back towards the Kyber belt Matlab ki hai na wo choti se icy bodies hoti hai wo ice aur dust aur rock se bane hoti hai aur ek aur wo Kyber belt matlab solar system ke ekdam outer edges pe hoti hai aur wo jab hai na sun ke paas aati hai na सन के पास आती है और फिर वो वापस काइबर बेल्ट पे जाती है कभी-कभी वो आ जाती नहीं है क्योंकि वो इवैपोरेट हो जाती है हो ओके एंड देन व्हाट इज एस्ट्रॉइड इज इट सेम थिंग और कुछ अलग है यानी एस्ट्रॉइड इज आर मोस्टली फाउंड इन द एस्ट्रॉइड बेल्ट दैट्स व्हाई दे कॉल इट द एस्ट्रॉइड बेल्ट ओ सो ये वेयर इज दिस बेल्ट कहां पे होता है वो बेल्ट एक्चुअली दिस बेल्ट इज बिटवीन द ऑर्बिट ऑफ जुपिटर एंड द एंड मार्स Oh. So if Mars is here and Jupiter is here, this whole band mm-hmm. is called the asteroid belt. It just rocks. Nice. Okay. Enough about these things. Let's talk about. So asteroid belt? What is it? Asteroid belt is na, um, like Jupiter or Mars ke between hota hai. Un dono ke orbit ke between hota hai. Usme khali rocks hi rocks hota hai. Oh. Nice. Okay. But next question is around again stars. Okay, मुझे फिर से stars पे आना है. तो like what how how the stars like actually how they live and how they, is is there life cycle of a star like when they are born how they die what happens with the stars? In like? a way, yes. Yeah. But the life cycle is different with every different type of star. Okay, so there are different type of stars. Yeah. कितने type के stars होते हैं? कौन से कौन से stars होते हैं? There are variety. I can't name all. Oh, is it? Okay. Uh, that's mostly because if one star has different phases those different phases can be different types oh okay so like one star can have three types mm-hmm. in it like our sun our sun right now is it average said in about 5 billion years it will swell up to a red super giant and it will engulf mercury venus and earth my god i want it to be in hindi as well because it's very interesting i know it I want to know so i'm going to do it i'm going to uh, you know do it after the english part so basically uh, and then it, and then with the gravity it sheds its layers sheds its layers and only the core remains and that core is the white dwarf so there are three different types there's the yellow 
the yellow uh, the yellow face and there's the you know the yellow face there's the the that super tank face and there's the white dwarf face so that's why and there's like three types or three phases in only one star's life that's why there's so many variety of stars okay but how do they take birth and how how do they die actually so, um Stars make a cat a ek star mein bhi na teen phases hote hain ya fir teen types aur wo pehle dekho apna star jaise pehle thoi 5 billion years mein wo z super giant ban jayega fir wo gravity ke wajah se uske layers shed karke white dwarf ban jayega to three phases अब थ्री टाइप स्टार थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ स्टार्स एक स्टार में होते हैं इसमें इतने सारे स्टार्स होते हैं आई सी इंटरेस्टिंग ओके वैसे ओके तो हाउ डज दिस साइंटिस्ट जो होते हैं ठीक है हाउ डू दे मेजर ऑल दिस थिंग्स लाइक द द मास एंड द डिस्टेंस एंड एवरीथिंग व्हेन वी टॉक अबाउट ओके द द अर्थ इज दिस फार फ्रॉम द फ्रॉम द सन और इट्स एट दिस मच मास हाउ डज साइंटिस्ट मेजर ऑल दोस थिंग्स I'm not actually very sure about that. Oh, is it? Is there something we can learn from other people? So, are you guys ready to answer this? So, maybe we can learn something new, right, Sat? Yeah. So, the question I can just repeat it again. Uh, how does scientist scientist kaise jo stars hai ya planets hai unke unka unka mass measure karte hain ya unka distance measure karte hain? How it has been calculated, right? So. That's the question for you guys. Please post in the comments. Next question. Okay, very interesting question. Why do stars twinkle? <laughs> Actually, they don't twinkle. The only types that really do twinkle are variable stars. Mm-hmm. They grow and shrink in size. But uh, most twinkling, we uh, twinkling, uh, twinkling we see is because of Earth's atmosphere. Earth's atmosphere is constantly fluctuating. It's constantly moving, and that distorts the light coming to our eyes. That's why we think it's getting brighter than the moon. Oh. So Earth's ka atmosphere is not twinkling of stars. Uh, work out that because Earth's ka atmosphere is not just uh, like flicker. Hota hai. Matlab, um, move over that. So when light comes, or light. Uh, डिफ्रेंशियल लाइक डिस्टॉर्ट हो डिस्टॉर्ट हो जाती है तो जब आपके आइस में आए आपको लगता है आप वो ऐसे डिमर और ब्राइटर हो रही है तो ये आंखों का धोखा है दैट्स ट्रू राइट इंटरेस्टिंग ओके माय नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज अराउंड वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग I I think our our zodiac signs are kind of related to that too but I don't know how but those are called constellations I have heard so much about constellation uh like hum jo hum jo hindi mein baat karte hain the rashi mithun sinh all those rashis right gemini so all those rashis are these constellations are related to that So or how it looks this basically is mythology but constellations were also one time mythology long ago when ancient romans and greeks looked up at the sky they made like the stars they traced the stars to make it like look like a picture okay and they have many uses long ago still they had many uses and they still have many uses like sailors use them to find their uh, used them to find that way and scientists still use them to find specific stars like maybe you can if you are an astronomer you can say hey look polaris is in the constellation small dipper or uh, so it still has many many purposes I see. Can you repeat the same thing in Hindi for so, our audience? Um, constellation long ago, ancient Romans or Greeks were with the sky. They saw it, na. So they would say, "Oh, we are tracing it." They made a picture, like this. And there were many uses, and there were many uses. 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 Nice. Okay. Next question is very, very interesting. Okay, and at least I am very excited about this question. 
and I am sure you guys would be after listening to my question. So my question is around, what is black hole? What are they? I am like, I am super confused. So black hole be, um, starts when a super, super massive go, uh, star dies. It goes off in a supernova. It explodes, leaving this cloud of distant gas. <laughs> Almost all big stars when they explode, not our sun, mm-hmm. but all big stars when they explode, they leave a cloud of distant gas. But the core of that big star, it either becomes tightly packed and becomes a neutron star, or it implodes on itself and becomes a black hole. Oh. Now, a black hole is still the biggest mystery. And it is so powerful. I mean, the way we see it, we see, the way we see anything is with light. But it, it is so powerful that not even light can escape the gravitational force. It has infinite gravity. Actually, it was first discovered by Albert Einstein, who was doing some theories, uh, who was doing some math, and he came across something in his theory of relativity that said it has infinite mass, infinite gravity. Okay. He did not believe that, but now we know that it is true. Interesting. Nice. Can you say something about it, like the, the major part of it, like supernova and what happened to how it becomes a, a black hole in Hindi, like how does black hole actually become a black hole? Black hole is like very big, very big. The sun is like 40 times bigger. Star shot. Hai. Oh. Actually, 40 bine, maybe even a hundred. Okay. When that explodes, uska core hai na, either neutron star bante, supernova and explode hota hai, which leaves a cloud of dust and gas. But uska core either neutron star ban jata hai, ya fir black hole ban jata hai. Or black hole um, hai na, uh, apan dekhte hai light se, like me ye dekh raho. So, I can see this from light, because this light is bounced off and I'm going to my eyes. So, I can see this from light. But, the gravity of black hole is so powerful that the light is also in it. So, you can see the black hole. Okay, <laughs> it's, that's why it's called black hole. <laughs> Interesting. And there's nothing there, right? Nothing. Nothing can exist? Nothing can uh, I mean, survive? Hypothetically, not like ye- yet. Not yet. Not that we are aware of, right? Yeah. yeah, interesting. Awesome. So this comes with our end of round one. And <laughs> ding 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 ding. <laughs> but it was amazing. We we learned a lot about stars and all those uh, asteroids, comets, black hole. My God, that was super awesome. The second part is much bigger, much fun, and much awesome. Think about it, what it could be. Mm-hmm. Galaxies and universe. I was just about to say the Yes, universe. so we're round two guys. Round two is about galaxies and universe. Both are interesting questions that I have asked And they are around galaxies and universe. So keep watching. Shall we start? Are you ready? Are you ready? Yes, let's do it. Round two, beginning. Round two. Okay, interesting question. Same as stars, so galaxies. What are galaxies and what like what exactly it is? So galaxy is basically a cluster, a lot of stars and nebulas and all arranged in like this. It's got. If you imagine, it's kind of like a country. The country is the observable universe. And there are tiny cities. And each city is its galaxy. So that hmm. city's people are the stars. Well, maybe Los Angeles would make sense. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I wish to go there once. Yeah. Interesting. Because stars get it. Stars. What our galaxy is called? What galaxy ko kya, kya bolte hai? It's called the Milky Way Galaxy because when we look up at the night sky, when actually ancient people looked up at the night sky, they saw this band of white 
light. It looked like white light coming, and it was a band. So they called it the Milky Way. So long ago, है ना बहुत सारे लोग लोग देख रहे थे ना मतलब लोग देख रहे थे ना तो वाइट वाइट ऐसे एक वाइट लाइक लाइन जैसा दिख रहा था तो इसलिए उसको नाम दे दिया मिल्की वे सो वर दे एक्सपेक्टिंग मिल्क रेन्स वेल दे एक्सपेक्टिंग अ जाइंट चॉकलेट द मिल्की वे चॉकलेट वाव ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग Okay, you told about this galaxy and how every cities are there, like the, all the solar systems are there in the galaxies. But where are we sitting in that whole galaxy? Our solar system, which is of the combination of a sun and eight planets, where are we? 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 But we're not in the middle. We're just like in the mm, kind of like the center of the tip of the tip on the x y axis. We are more towards the x axis. Wow, I am not good in mathematics, so no, I don't know x axis. But I'm sure you're right. But I can Google it. If you are, if you guys think it's right. Please comment below and share with us if it is right or wrong, so we can verify the answers later on. But my next question is more difficult, and it could be actually rapid rapid fire. You know what? Okay, and then I, we can go in details. Rapid fire. Are we actually putting a fire in here? Yeah. Should I bring some water for you? <laughs> okay. The question is, how many? Different galaxies are we are aware of? Kitty different type of galaxies. Galaxies, we know. I've discovered about a hundred billion. Seriously? Hmm. I'm not. I think one billion, not a hundred billion. Actually, we know there are a hundred billion. But but they're like uh, almost. You can say infinite, almost. Wow. Because there are a lot of lot of galaxies. तो आप व्हेन यू से इट इन हिंदी इट्स लाइक बहुत बिलियंस ऑफ गैलेक्सीज हैं इस यूनिवर्स में यू आर सिंग दैट वाह एंड डू दे हैव डिफरेंट शेप्स और ऑल ऑफ देम आर लाइक अ सेम शेप द थ्री मेन टाइप्स ओके तो तीन शेप्स की गैलेक्सीज होती है व्हिच आर दोस स्पाइरल देन द एलिप्टिकल एंड देयर इज वन मोर इवन आई डोंट नो द आंसर कैन आई गूगल इट <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we can Google it later. It, it but it is like something like disordered galaxy or something like. Okay. Uh, it, it, um, I'm sure someone in our audience would know this answer, and I'm I am hoping someone would answer this. Please let us know how many types are types of galaxies are there. कितने टाइप की गैलेक्सीज होती हैं. So spiral you mentioned, elliptical and one more something, right? Yeah. But uh, how, which are the most common ones, or how do they take that shape? Like what happens? How, Most why? common ones are spirals. Okay. But when spirals clash and get mixed up, then they turn into either either the elliptical or the other type, which I cannot remember. <laughs> wow. And does this galaxies orbit, or do do they also orbit like our solar system? I know, like planet orbit sun, and then this I think our solar system orbit the galaxies. Do um, the center yeah. of the galaxy. Hmm. So how it how it works actually? I mean, uh, um, our galaxies don't orbit something, but there is this phenomena that scientists are still looking at. It's called the great attraction. Great attraction. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> All of the uh, galaxies seem to be moving towards something. Towards something. Yes. Can you repeat that in Hindi? It's very interesting to know that. तो एक फिनोमिना है जो साइंटिस्ट ढूंढ रहे और मतलब रिसर्च कर रहे और सब गैलेक्सी ऐसा दिख रहा है कि सब गैलेक्सीज एक चीज के पास आ रहे ओ सो इज इट लाइक व्हेन दे कीप ऑन मूविंग कैन दे कोलाइड कैन दे लाइक जस्ट उनका सो माय क्वेश्चन इज कैन द गैलेक्सीज टकरा सकती है एक दूसरे के साथ क्या उनका एक्सीडेंट हो सकता है हाउ इट हैपेंस 
I think you might have heard of this in about 300 in about uh, uh, not 300 like a uh, um, like uh, almost 3 million years from now the andromeda is going to crash into the milky way and then they're going to milky way our galaxy yeah and then they're going to call it the milk andromeda oh my god <laughs> so what happens when they collide it like it just everything just vanishes away or it no, could be anything no it's one big galaxy oh so it's like uh like this so they hit and they hit and they hit slowly they start spinning around and then, then the cores of the two galaxies combine okay then it becomes one new galaxy wow called the milky andromeda can you say it in hindi to so, um uh about 3 million years from now uh more कि एंड्रोमेडा और अपनी गैलेक्सी मिल्की वे एंड्रोमेडा एक दूसरी गैलेक्सी है वो दोनों क्रैश हो गए और स्लोली वो ऐसे 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 टकराते वक्त एक गैलेक्सी बनाएंगे और वो एक गैलेक्सी का नाम होगा मिल्क ड्रोमेडा मैं को नहीं पता क्यों मिल्क ड्रोमेडा मिल्क ड्रोमेडा वाओ मिल्क ड्रोमेडा मिल्क विद लॉट ऑफ ड्रामा ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ओके दिस क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम समवन uh he asked me to ask you this question <coughs> but even i don't know the answer to this question frankly so what are dark galaxies even i don't know the answer of that dark i you have ever, ever heard about it like what are like dark galaxies hoti kya i have never heard of that but i'm thinking it's something to do with a galaxy mhm i think i've heard of it with dark matter or some kind of thing like that. wow i'm not quite sure Okay. That's fine. That's again one more question for our audience. <laughs> They are getting good opportunities today. So, make sure you answer these questions and show some uh knowledge sharing, you know? Share the share the knowledge. Okay, next question. How big is our universe? I know it's huge, but how big it is? In finit. I N I Infinite? I T E I N I F I T. It's infinite. So there is no like. There's no end. No end. Any hypothetically like proven fa- anything like scientists. We know that it's expanding. It's expanding always. Yeah, we know so, that that, but we don't. But it, we cannot calculate it. It is too big. So that's why we say it's infinite. Okay, gotcha. Can you can you repeat it in Hindi? इतना बड़ा है अपन कैलकुलेट नहीं कर सकते हम हम अपन को खाली पता है बड़ा हो इसलिए अपन बोलते हैं इट्स इन्फिनिट मतलब वो एंड नहीं होता I see. Okay, my next question, very interesting. And this is the last question with the galaxies and universe and then we'll move back to a new topic. So, be prepared, but this question is around dark matters and dark energy. So, I don't know what it is, but I heard a lot about this things. The mystery of phenomena It's a phenomena. <laughs> It's some sort of a ghost or something. <laughs> <laughs> so dark matter. Uh, so it was first discovered when this astronomer was looking at the way how galaxies spin. Mm-hmm. Usually, when galaxies spin, there. I mean, usually when something spins, and it's like not so. It's not solid. It's like you know, mm-hmm. uh, kind of like mixed up. its outer edge should spin slower mm-hmm. but it was spinning at the same rate so that uh, like gave this sign that something was holding the galaxy mhm okay to iska agar hindi mein samajhna chahe to how would you explain it like to um pehle uh, astronomers ya fir jo sky ko study karte hain स्पेस को वो गैलेक्सी uh, जैसे घूमती है उसको देख रहे थे तो उनका उसका आउटर आउटर स्लोअर स्पिन करना था आई मीन स्लोअर स्पिन करना चाहिए था पर वो सेम स्पीड के स्पिन कर रहा था तो एस्ट्रोनॉमर ने ढूंढा कि कुछ होल्ड कर रहा है गैलेक्सी को तो उसको कहते हैं डार्क मैटर पता नहीं है क्या है वो इसलिए उसको कहते हैं डार्क मैटर ओके 
इंटरेस्टिंग वाह दैट वॉज टू मच टू टेक इन फॉर मी एट लीस्ट इतना सारा नॉलेज एक साथ मैं कहाँ से कैसे लेके जाऊँगा कहाँ लेके जाऊँगा सो एनी फन फैक्ट्स बिफोर यू मूव टू नेक्स्ट वन डार्क मैटर बहुत डेंजरस लग रहा है तो ओके मूव टू द नेक्स्ट वन अवर सोलर सिस्टम एटलीस्ट वी गॉट स्मॉलर या नाउ वी आर गेटिंग स्मॉलर वी केम फ्रॉम स्टार्स टू गैलेक्सीज एंड यूनिवर्स बट नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट अवर होम सोलर सिस्टम इज लाइक अ अवर स्वीट स्मॉल फैमिली ऑफ नाइन प्लैनेट्स आई डोंट थिंक सो यू कॉल लाइक फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल देयर नॉट नाइन प्लैनेट्स आई ओनली एट व्हाट व्हाट हैपेंड टू माय डियर प्लूटो I thought it's a planet. Uh Pluto does follow two of the conditions of planet. Mhm. Not third. It's not exactly a planet but right yeah, recently. Not third. Okay. The third condition is that it has to clear everything out of its orbit. Oh. But it has not because it is right near the Kuiper belt. The one that Oh the belt that I was trying to wear before. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you have like rocks around you. ओके सो लेट्स लेट्स टॉक इन हिंदी अबाउट इट सो प्लूटो अ प्लानट नहीं रहा बिकॉज इट इज़ नॉट फॉलोइंग स्पेसिफिक कंडीशंस विच नीड्स टू बिकम अ प्लानट प्लानट होने के लिए तीन कंडीशंस चाहिए यू आर सेइंग दैट राइट वो तीन कंडीशंस है पहले हैज टू ऑर्बिट अ सन ओके दूसरा इट हैज टू बी इट हैज टू हैव इनफ मास टू साउंड इट सेल्फ बाई इट्स ओन ग्रेविटी ओके थर्ड इट हैज टू क्लियर एवरी थिंग आउट ऑफ इट्स पाथ हो तो ये अगर तीन चीजें कंप्लीट होती है देन यू कैन बिकम अ प्लैनेट यस ओ सो देयर इज अ अपॉर्चुनिटी दैट वी कैन हैव इज इट अ पॉसिबिलिटी दैट वी कैन हैव वन और टू मोर प्लैनेट्स इन कमिंग इयर्स या कोई प्लैनेट जो अभी है वो नहीं रहे एनी मोर प्लैनेट नो नॉट रियली द एयर प्लैनेट्स दैट वी हैव दे ऑल फॉलो द थ्री कंडीशंस एंड इट्स नॉट लाइकली टू चेंज एनी टाइम सून या इंटरेस्टिंग Nice. Okay, let's go to the next question. A very interesting. Our biggest part of our solar system, our sun. Like how big it is? I'm like so how big? It covers ninety nine point eight percent of the solar system's mass. My God. The whole solar system, and almost a million Earths can fit inside it. Can you repeat in Hindi? It's very interesting because. तो so, wow. 99.8% ऑफ सिस्टम का पूरा मास खाली सन में होता है और एक मिलियन अर्थ खाली एक सन में फिट हो सकती है माय गॉड दैट्स ह्यूज हाउ मेनी पीपल वुड बी देयर ऑन द अर्थ देन ऑन द इन द ऑन द सन 7.6 मिलियन मल्टीप्लाइड बाय 1 मिलियन नो 7.8 बिलियन क्रेजी 7.8 बिलियन मल्टीप्लाइड बाय 1 मिलियन But so Actually, we we the people we'll, not be see the they'll all be dead. <laughs> That's crazy, yeah. It's so, it's now, so hot. Billion seven point eight billion. कितने zero होते हैं billions. Seven point eight billion people on Earth right now. That's how many zeros? Uh, like one, two. Seven. Uh, that's like uh, a billion has like nine zeros. Wow. One day when I'll become a billionaire, I would know that definitely. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Coming to next question. We know how big is the sun, but how hot it is, and how does it gets its energy? Like its its core is twenty seven million degrees Fahrenheit. That's twenty seven with six zeros after it. Oh man, it's, Fahrenheit. Kit sun, kitna garam hai, or kitne? Usko energy milti kahan se? So it gets its energy from nuclear fusion. Nuclear fusion. Combines isotopes of hydrogen like deuterium or tritium, to and smashes them together with enough heat and pressure. It releases lot of energy. Oh, can you say it in Hindi? It's very interesting topic actually. So nuclear fusion, yeah, for sun, how is it made? It is its fuel. What hydrogen isotopes? 
आइसोटोप्स कहते हैं साइंस में न्यूटोरियम और ट्रिटियम जब इतना प्रेशर और स्पीड से वो स्मैश करता है इतनी सारी एनर्जी बनाता है Nice. So nuclear fusion, when you say it's like that, uh, one uh, nuclear bombs and atom bomb. That's <laughs> that's what we're talking about. No, that's nuclear fission. Nuclear fission. Fusion and fusion are, are two different things. Okay, let me say it in Hindi. It's very interesting. So nuclear fusion is not jo which make all those nuclear energy ya nuclear bomb ya atom bomb ye jo hai wo nuclear fusion se nahi bante but wo nuclear fusion se bante okay so what's the major difference between these two uh, actually nuclear fusion is it takes uranium 235 uranium 238 or plutonium and it breaks them by shooting one electron mm-hmm. so it breaks them into krypton and barium and some other electrons which hit more uranium atoms which create more electrons which hit more uranium atoms and again so wow. that also creates a huge amount of energy but the bad thing is it has nuclear waste wow can you repeat it in hindi i am really interested about the pura formula jo tha na nuclear fusion fusion i don't know <laughs> what was that uh, nuclear fusion mein kya hota hai एक यूरेनियम 235 या फिर यूरेनियम 238 या फिर प्लूटोनियम एटम को ब्रेक करते इनटू क्रिप्टॉन और बैरियम और फिर स्ट्रे इलेक्ट्रॉन्स होते मतलब ऑल इलेक्ट्रॉन्स होते और वो इलेक्ट्रॉन्स एक्चुअली यूरेनियम 235 थर्टी फाइव ही क्रिप्टॉन और बैरियम में ब्रेक करता है बस दे ऑल रिलीज ऑल इलेक्ट्रॉन्स वो ऑल इलेक्ट्रॉन्स और यूरेनियम एटम्स को हिट करते और को ब्रेक करते और यूरेनियम एटम्स और ये सब वापस होता रहता है Oh man, it's so scary. It's very complex process. Looks like it is. Actually, uranium two thirty eight doesn't break into krypton and barium. Uranium two thirty eight becomes uranium two thirty nine, which is very stable. Okay, now it's very complex for me. <laughs> Let's back get back to the. You talk about fusion. Okay, fusion is very interesting. We know it how it breaks and makes something, but. What happens with the fusion? Fusion में कैसे होता है Like how the fusion works and can we do it in our Earth? Like is it possible to do fusion? It is possible. There's still many uh, experiments going on, but it's very hard. We don't have the right technology to make it that much heat and that much pressure. Okay. And we don't and uh, the isotopes of uranium, ah, uh, isotopes of hydrogen, deuterium, and tritium, they're very very less abundant on Earth. मतलब है ही नहीं सब टेक्नोलॉजी नहीं है इतनी हीट और प्रेशर और हाइड्रोजन के आइसोटॉप्स लूटोरियम और ट्रिटियम भी नहीं है बहुत इसलिए अभी भी ट्राई कर रहे हैं ओके सो राइट अभी हमारे पास न्यूक्लियर फ्यूजन नहीं है बट वी आर ट्राइंग हाइड्रोजन हाइड्रोजन थ्री But that's also very rare on Earth. But it is very, very abundant on the Moon. So we go mine the Moon for that. Okay. We can have uh, that, and we can. I mean, essentially, after we create the technology, in a hypothetical way, we can do nuclear fusion. Wow! So I can leave my job and go to the Moon and start mining. It's a better job, I believe. <laughs> You'll need some. How about you join SpaceX then? Or NASA. Ah, if Elon yeah. Musk is watching this, please hire me. I am looking forward to it. Yeah. Or NASA. Oh, or NASA. Yeah, NASA. Or you NASA. can go to NASA. I'll go to Elon. Uh, I'll go to SpaceX. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Next question. Very interesting. And a very. I want a very accurate answer. Okay. Try to get accurate. Okay. How old is our Earth? Four point five four three billion years old. Four point five four three billion years. That's correct. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> that's exactly correct. Four point five four three billion years. Nice. Okay, how big is the Earth? Like the if I start from one point and you mean like the circumference? The circumference, yeah. That's twenty four thousand nine hundred and one miles. Twenty four thousand nine hundred and one miles. My goodness. Nice. Okay, let's talk about Saturn. Coming back to our Saturn, okay? Saturn ki jo hai na, I have heard, I have, I have actually, I was fortunate to see it from. 
I have heard, I have, I have actually, I was fortunate to see it from a telescope, but I was not able to see it clearly. But I see Saturn has the the kind of rings around yeah. it, right? I'm really curious about it. Like, what are those actually, rings? Actually, fun fact: Saturn is not the only planet with rings in our solar system. All of the uh, four other planets, uh, um, all of the gas giants, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, they all have. तो यू आर सेइंग कि सिर्फ सैटन ऐसा प्लैनेट नहीं है जिसके रिंग्स है और बहुत सारे प्लैनेट्स हैं इसके रिंग है कौन से कौन से प्लैनेट्स हैं जुपिटर सैटन यूरेनस और नेपच्यून तो दिखती क्यों नहीं है व्हाई कैन नॉट वी सी दोस रिंग्स दे हैव अ बिट लाइक वीकर रिंग्स बिट स्मॉलर एंड फॉर जुपिटर द डस्ट एंड गैस इट कवर्स इट सो मच यू कैन रियली सी इट नाइस very interesting okay so now we know about that we have more planets having rings mm-hmm. and we have so i rings I, form when the celestial body like pretend this <laughs> is a celestial body it's so a, this is my pop filter this is a planet <laughs> okay. it's a planet pretend okay. so then and this is like the roots limit okay. something called the roots limit around every planet now when an object gets too close to the roots limit mm-hmm. it breaks apart and forms rings oh and that's how isliye wo aise rings hoti hai so okay technically if going too near this thing's roots limit is going to zip my fingers out actually no it's not because it's too weak its gravity is too weak okay but definitely it will make us voice louder when you cut close <laughs> the gravity makes voice louder no that's yeah. the microphone nice okay very interesting question uh, it could be hypothetical but i am really interested about it is there a possibility of life in this solar system or in this galaxy or in this universe anywhere else apart so. from the I earth i believe so i believe so so you are saying ke earth ke alawa bhi kahin pe life hai there are aliens <laughs> Well, not necessarily aliens, but I do believe there's microbacteria life. Microbacteria, like uh, ants, <laughs> or like. <laughs> no bacteria. You can't see them. Fungi, algae, all those things. Ah. Uh, there could be bunch of bacteria. Okay, so there there could be a possibility of yes, life. Okay. Anytime soon, we are going to find it. Ah, uh, maybe around. Uh, give us a century. Century? Yeah, give us a century. Okay. Century. I'm sure your generation is going to do something crazy. Yeah, because you guys are so talented, and I'm so proud of that. I'm sure you will be finding something. So you, you did you mention about something around moon life having uh, any opportunities on life of on the moon? Uh, no, you know that. conspiracies and all yeah i know yeah. even landing on the moon was one of the conspiracy conspiracy yeah. but yeah but uh, no but some moons do which moons i mean they don't do but they have a high chance of having oh which i would like, like to know kaun se like europa and enceladus europa is jupiter's moon and enceladus is saturn's moon can you say it in hindi हाँ तो यूरोपा जुपिटर का मून है और इंसेलेरस सैटन का मून है और दोनों पे पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ लाइफ है क्योंकि एक प्रोब जुपिटर आई थिंक द जूनो प्रोब वो है ना यूरोपा के पास गया था ना टाइटन भी टाइटन वन ऑफ अदर सैटन मून दे ऑल हैव बिलीव टू हैव वाटर वाओ कैन यू से हाई व्हेन यू गो देयर समाइम I don't think so. But they just know your language if they're alive. <laughs> just in case, if we find somebody else. <laughs> okay, coming back to our Earth, our beautiful Earth. Okay, let's talk about it and let's know more about it. Oh, you mean just to finalize one or two question and then we'll we'll wrap up. Okay. We're going on chapter three. Chapter three. Chapter four. Yeah, I know we chapter touched base four. a little bit about Earth. Chapter in, four. Yeah, right. But I just want to know about the crust of it, like Earth, Earth ka. what like how many how many layers are are there in the earth crust like how it how, how it looks like so the four main layers some people believe there are three four main layers 
First, there's the Kadash, where we all live on. This thing. Okay, this thing. Okay, where we are putting up. It's about seven miles thick. Hmm. And then there's the mantle. Hmm. Mm, then there's the outer core. Then there's the inner core. Some believe there's only one core, but uh, um, some more research has proved there's two cores, in fact. So yes, uh, Hindi me can we repeat that? It would be very interesting to know. So, पहले होता है crust, crust जो अपन और stand करते हैं, जो भी अपन करते हैं, करते हैं, उस पे करते हैं। हम्म। Fill होता है um mantle, mantle crust के नीचे होता है। वो पागल होता है? Because it's a mantle. No no carry carry on carry on. Magnum होता है उसमें। Okay. अंडर द क्रस्ट दर्स अनदर क्रस्ट विथ मोर एलियन लाइफ ओमेन अनदर क्रस्ट विथ मोर एलियन लाइफ व्हिच अंडर दैट हैज अनदर क्रस्ट विथ मोर एलियन दैट्स क्रेजी नो दैट्स नॉट पॉसिबल ओके आई वांट टू नो एवरीवन विटनेसेस दिस बट आई व्हाट आई आई डिड सम रिसर्च ऑन इट ओके एंड मुझे ये मालूम पड़ा है कि देयर इज अ गोल्ड इन द इनर क्रस्ट एंड इज इट इज इट ट्रू लाइक देयर कुड बी लॉट्स ऑफ गोल्ड इनर सॉरी इनर कोर आई मीन राइट या so yeah in the core there is so much gold to cover the earth to my yeah around here wow can i get your share of gold i would like to have this much gold <laughs> yours gold and my gold <laughs> how about we, how true it how is how about we mine earth okay let's do that let's <laughs> mine earth but uh, ye kitna fact hai ke agar when you up uh, you said right ke अगर गोल्ड अगर अपन वहां से इनर को में से गोल्ड निकालेंगे तो इट वुड कम टू अवर लाइक ऑलमोस्ट स्टमक राइट प्रूवन फैक्ट इट्स अ प्रूवन फैक्ट वाओ नाइस गुड टू नो दैट नॉट 100% बट या 99.9999999 ओके सो इट इज प्रूवन ओके सो ये जो व्हेन वी टॉक अबाउट ऑल दिस मेटल लाइक ठीक है गोल्ड्स एंड ऑल दिस मिनरल्स दैट वी फाउंड ये सब एवरी वन इंटरेस्टिंग फैक्ट इज दैट द कोर इज एक्चुअली सॉलिड Solid. Solid. Oh. So all this pressure, it's like a solid ball of metals. Okay, but how these so metals are formed in universe? Like, in universe, में बनते कैसे हैं metals सारे? Most big metals, like yeah, heavy jo, metals, like uranium and all. Yeah. They come from these big explosions. Okay. Can you guess? Supernova. Oh. That that creates the cloud of dust and gas. It has all of these metals mixed with the rocks. Actually, big stars. You know, our star can only fuse hydrogen to helium, but big stars they can fuse hydrogen to helium, to lithium, to neon, to oxygen, to carbon, to iron. <laughs> What was that? <laughs> can you say it in Hindi? I I completely so, lost it. Yeah, um, बड़े स्टार से नाम में इतना बड़ा प्रेशर और हीट होता है कि वो खाली हाइड्रोजन से हीलियम नहीं कर सकते पर हाइड्रोजन से हीलियम से लिथियम से नियॉन से ऑक्सीजन से कार्बन से आयन और कुछ रह गया था आई थिंक वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग नाइस ओके सो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन यू यू टॉक्ड अबाउट सुपरनोवा तो ये व्हाट इज सुपरनोवा ये क्या होता है सुपरनोवा इज बेसिकली Like when the star dies, hmm. when big star dies, hmm. it goes off in this massive explosion. Huh. Its core turns into either a neutron star or a black hole. But the other sh- layers they explode with all of this dust and gas, which can give rise to new nebulas, new stars, and new. Oh, and that's how our solar system became. Yes. Yeah? Oh, interesting. So, solar system बना था supernova के explosion से. That's what we are saying. So not only maybe there could be like uh, two solar systems made from one explosion. Oh. Three, four, and maybe not four. There's like. But there could be multiple. 
got it interesting so uh, if uh, how do you know by any chance like how frequent those supernova explosions are they're not too frequent mm mm-hmm. they are pretty frequent like uh, you might have heard of beetle juice can explode in a few million years can Then, you say it in hindi very interesting topic the star called beetle juice and it's almost gonna it's almost ran out of its fuel so it's gonna explode in a few years and we're and it's gonna be so bright we're gonna see it even in the morning is it in the summer morning we but can but after see 4 it. billion years no then how how after in a few years in a few years or maybe even a century oh man i am excited about it mm-hmm. Can you, you say it in Hindi? It's going to be seen all around the world. Can you say it in Hindi? It's very interesting. So, एक साल बीटल जूस वो एक्सप्लोर्ड होने वाला है क्योंकि उसका फ्यूल ऑलमोस्ट खत्म हो गया है। तो वो है ना एक सेंटरी या फिर थोड़े साल में होने वाला है। और वो है ना लाइक समर के मॉर्निंग में भी दिख सकता है और पूरे वर्ल्ड में दिखेगा तब राइट my god to ye jo you know like when we talk about yeah. all this blast and uh, the energies from the sun mm-hmm. right so we know about the sun flares and solar all those flares. solar flares right yes. so how our earth is saved from that ye to itne it must be so powerful right there are two com- com- components mm-hmm. the magnetic field and the ozone layer okay now the magnetic field acts like a shield diverts all the solar winds but sometimes they don't divert it the solar wind particles they travel on it and they kind of trace the magnetic fields to the south and north pole then they create the northern and southern lights by mixing with oxygen and hydrogen and nitrogen and other gases so south and north pole matlab uh, polar bears and penguins are very lucky right they are getting all the magnetic fields there can you say it in hindi it's very interesting topic yeah to aurora is kehte hain unko aur jab hai na ye charged particles magnetic field ke along travel karte hain wo na oxygen poles pe jata hai fir oxygen aur hydrogen se mix karte aur hai na aise wo light banate hain different unko kehte hain northern or southern lights Northern or southern lights or auroras. Oh, but how does this things happen? Like how the magnetic field happens? The magnetic fields hoti hai. Still a big mystery. But uh, it's convection. So when the, the core of the Earth or and the mantle they move at different speeds. Mm-hmm. So when they rub against each other, they make a force called convection. that causes the magnetic field we still don't know how okay but we know that it happens like that can you say it in hindi bahut interesting topic tha to uh, uh when like the core and ye spin karta hai na different speeds to ye jab again se check karta hai ye uh, sab different layers hmm to wo convection banata hai ek sort of convection aur wo magnetic field banata hai how apan ko still pata nahi hai kaise to apan ko pata hai aise ऐसे तो वो रब होता है तो इरेज नहीं हो जाता इंटरेस्टिंग नॉट अ रब सो एंड दैट्स हाउ वी सी ऑल दोस नॉर्दर्न लाइट्स एंड ऑल दोस लाइट्स दैट वी सी इट्स बिकॉज़ ऑफ दैट राइट या इन अ वे सो ये जो व्हेन वी टॉक अबाउट नॉर्दर्न लाइट्स आइसलैंड और ये सब जो डिफरेंट प्लेसेस जहां पे हम लोग नॉर्दर्न लाइट्स देखते हैं ग्रीन कलर की स्काई ब्लू कलर की स्काई एंड दैट्स द ये सब जो है वो मैग्नेटिक फील्ड से होता है Yes, and the solar winds. Solar winds. Huh. Okay, interesting. Nice. The big bursts of plasma. Nice. Again, a very interesting question for you. We are. I heard and I read it. Okay, that we are right now rotating, <laughs> and we we are we keeps on rotating. But I don't feel it. Why? And are we rotating? And if we are rotating, how fast? One thousand four hundred miles per hour. Wait, wait. Let me check. <laughs> One thousand. 400 400 miles per hour wow that's correct <laughs> interesting itne fast hum log ghoom rahe hain 1400 miles per hour ki speed se earth ghoom raha hai why we are not feeling it hum log kaise nahi ghoom raha hai so gravity keeps in one place so even if we are rotating that fast we don't feel it because we are just on one place na ah. and we notice it by day and night of ah, course okay but we don't feel like or 
spinning because we're in one place oh is it so can you say it in hindi so hum log ek hi jagah pe hain इसलिए हमको फील नहीं होता हाँ, है कि ग्रेविटी एक ही जगह लगती है अपन को वी डू फील लेट लाइक डे और नाइट होती है तो अपन ऐसे आ, देख सकते हैं कि घूम रही है पर तो भी जब ऐसे ऐसे ही रह रहे हैं तो ऐसा नहीं लगता है कि अपन घूम रहे क्योंकि अपन एक स्पॉट पे ही है ओह माय गॉड ओके एंड दैट्स व्हाई मुझे चक्कर नहीं आ रहे अभी ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन व्हेन यू टॉक अबाउट ग्रेविटीज राइट सो ये ग्रेविटी अर्थ ग्रेविटी आई मीन सॉरी थैंक यू फॉर करेक्शन सो हाउ मच इज द अर्थ ग्रेविटी एंड हाउ इट गेट्स इट्स ग्रेविटी नाइन पॉइंट जीरो एट माइल्स मीटर्स पर सेकेंड कैन यू रिपीट दैट इन हिंदी अर्थ की ग्रेविटी कितनी है नाइन पॉइंट जीरो एट मीटर्स पर सेकेंड नाइन पॉइंट जीरो एट मीटर्स पर सेकेंड इज अ ग्रेविटी ओके एंड Uh, और ये हाउ 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 द अर्थ गेट्स इट ग्रेविटी हम ग्रेविटी होती कैसे हाउ इट क्रिएट दैट हैज मास ओके हैज ग्रेविटी मास लाइक द बॉडी बिल्डिंग माय हेयर हैज ग्रेविटी और द स्पॉट हैज ग्रेविटी द सी हैज ग्रेविटी एवरीथिंग हैज ग्रेविटी बट आवर ग्रेविटी इज सो लेस वी कैन नॉट फील इट बट रियली इफ लेट्स से दिस इज ऑन द ग्राउंड दिस इज एक्चुअली पुलिंग This towards it. This is pulling the earth. Earth is pulling towards it. The earth is pulling this towards it, but this is pulling the earth towards oh, it. Oh, nice. Okay. But it is so so tiny. We cannot notice it. अच्छा मैं किसी की gravity निकाल सकता हूँ क्या? If I want to remove gravity gravity from somebody. You will have to like remove all their mass. <laughs> okay. How can I remove your mass? You got a lot of mass in you. <laughs> <laughs> oh man that's very interesting okay next question okay and now we are going into a hypothetical zone because it's almost end of our show it has been an amazing experience uh but this one are very interesting questions that are probably unanswered or if they are answered it's very hypothetical so like i would theories. theories right so i would like to know from you about this questions and answer okay so Wait, let me play the new tune. Okay, that's interesting. No, music. <laughs> okay, first question guys. Is time travel possible? Time travel karna possible hai? According to Can I go in past and future? According to Einstein's theory of gravity, yes. Can we do it? Theory of relativity. We just haven't find out how. Basically, you have to go faster than the speed of light and then warp space time in a way. but that all is hypothetical we cannot do it now but according to einstein's theory of gravitativity i mean not gravitativity relativity it is possible oh okay next question which is the hottest planet it it was it should be very easy mercury right i know it <laughs> because it's closest to the sun no what venus what You mean in the solar system, right? Right. Yeah. I mean, if you're not talking about the solar system, uh, it's called Wasp B. It Wasp is, B. It is even hotter than the surface of the sun. Oh my God! But in the solar system, you're saying it's Venus, not Mercury. Yeah. How is it? I thought that Mercury is the most hottest because it's closest to the sun. Yeah, that is true. To but Venus is hotter because of its atmosphere. Has a carbon dioxide atmosphere with lots of greenhouse gases, okay. so it traps that. I see. That's why it's so hot. Eight hundred degrees Fahrenheit, more than eight hundred degrees Fahrenheit, around eight fifty degrees Fahrenheit. My God, that's. Well, Mercury is only eight thirty. Yes, of measure. Like I am really curious. Like how how do we actually measure this? I'm not so sure thing, about like... it either. Right, that's why int- it's uh, it's again hypothetical, maybe. But uh, is there? Uh, this is not really hypothetical. It's but proven. It's proven. Yeah. Okay. When we say this distance is like uh, we have. Uh, I, I mean, know, the Mercury Venus comparison is proven. Okay. Maybe not the other things, but, but that is. But when we talk about distance from uh, how, so let's say I ask you a question: How far is the sun from Earth? Ninety-one point three million miles. So that's a hypothetical answer. No. Is it true? How do you measure it? 
I'm not sure. I just know it's 91.3 million watts. <laughs> ये मेजर कैसे करते होंगे मतलब आई एम रियली क्यूरियस कि अर्थ से अगर मार्स सन uh, का डिस्टेंस मेजर मेजर करना है दे लुक एट इट फ्रॉम डिफरेंट एंगल्स ओके दे दे क्रंच द नंबर्स सो देन दे गेट अ रफ अ वेरी गुड एस्टीमेट ओ आई सी इट्स नॉट 100% बट इट्स लाइक 98% ट्रू और एक्यूरेट एक्यूरेट इंटरेस्टिंग आई नो लाइक आई I don't know about it in more detail, but I am sure our audience would know something about it. So I can request them uh, if you are watching this and if you know the answer of it, how these things are calculated, how how the distance and all these things are calculated. Please leave in the comments. Okay. Next question. I'll repeat in Hindi and English both. What is string theory? String theory kya hai? I have no idea about it. It started with a theory called the point particle theory. Point particle theory, okay? Okay, so the I, I learned it from this video, and I think you'd like it too. There's this website, uh, this channel on YouTube, which name I cannot pronounce, but I do know how it's spelled. Mm-hmm. K U R G E S A T, and then uh, uh, search string theory. K U R G E S A T, and it has very detailed video. I'm going to say it in a short form, but that has a very detailed video. So if you want to learn more, please go there. Mm-hmm. And basically, string theory it started with the point particle. Mm-hmm. And the point particle uh, theory uh, um, was like uh, things are too small to see, right? So point particle theory was like about gravitons and neutrons, but there's one big problem with that: gravity. Mm-hmm. You when they put gravity in that theory, it called all messed up. Mm-hmm. So they created a new theory called the string theory. Oh, okay. String theory basically says like everything is connected with strings in a way, not real strings. Dhaga, like something no, like <laughs> rope. <laughs> like universal strings. You okay, can say. okay. And they can be um like. moved and differentiated and gravity works great with them because they can create different variables as different states of space i see it might not be the theory of everything like the point particle mm-hmm. but it is still very useful okay so please if you want to learn more please uh, go uh, go and watch that video interesting that's where i learned it from cool thanks for sharing it i'm sure people would go and uh would like to know learn more about it okay next question just last question for this today's session a very interesting question but what is parallel universe parallel universe kya hota hai we know like aise bolte hain ke there are uh, a, at the same there time there is a universe line and there is another universe line like two lines parallel, parallel. No. <laughs> so basically parallel uh, universes are totally hypothetical nobody knows if that true okay they're saying there's multiple universes mm-hmm. which are all basically the same mhm so there could be a million earths in another parallel universe because there there could be infinite parallel universes basically i mean if you live in the 11th dimension according to string theory that would be true but we do not live in the 11th Why? dimension that is Uh, we're not gonna go into that. Even I don't know that much. Now that's like astrophysics and all. Okay. <laughs> okay but can, can you say it in Hindi again? It's very interesting topic. ये जो parallel universe का concept है. तो parallel universe का concept basically क्या बोलता है कि एक universe नहीं है, पर बहुत सारे universe हैं और वो same हैं. Like दूसरे एक parallel universe की theory true है. मतलब एक parallel universe में है ना मैं ये same चीज कर रहा हूँ. या फिर इंटरव्यू विद यू सर
and I hope you didn't get bored. <laughs> would you would you like to something share something else to your audience and everybody who wants to learn something new? Would you like to share something with them? So if you know any of these answers, if you know anything that we did not include, please share it with us. Yes, and we all can learn together, right? Yeah. So just to share it in Hindi again, agar if you are know uh, anything about. Uh, space and universe which we are not covered today and something uh, any answers that we were wrong maybe or we were not sure about please share sub answers hum hamare sath share kijiye or we are looking forward to learn from you also right so and i know we are over by few minutes already and we want to wrap up soon so if you are new to this channel wrap us up wrap up yeah wrap it up i am going to get a blanket for you okay <laughs> so please like share and subscribe to this channel let's wrap up with a smile to you <laughs> and if you like our video please share it with people uh, share the knowledge and please keep subscribe. learning keep having fun yay yay